tarnished, are we? No wonder you should turn up here. I am Salen, a sorcerer, quite plainly. Why are you here? Ah, a yen for glinstone sorceries. I dare say your proclivities are far from ideal. Oh well, perhaps nurture will defy nature, with a bit of luck. But one must choose one's masters wisely. I was exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria as a reviled, apostate witch. Do you still wish to learn from me? <laughs> well, you are a piece of work. Very well. You are now my protege in Glinstone sorcery. But I refuse to coddle or cast kind words. Anticipate grievances, young apprentice. Young apprentice, first things first, you are a tadpole when it comes to magic. Infantile, without the legs to walk. So, to become a sorcerer, first, you must face your ignorance. Now, shall we start learning? You wish to continue? There you are. My Shall we commence the lesson? What's this sorcery, my apprentice? Ah, then you have seen Master Azure. Master Azure was a founding glimstone sorcerer, and my first teacher, a stern judge of men. But he must have seen something in you. You make us both proud. We can speak more later, my apprentice. If you recall, I was exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria. It was for attempting to restore the primeval current of Glinstone sorcery. The toothless pedantry peddled by the Carian royal family can rot for all I care. I want Glinstone sorceries that open our minds, unbound by terrestrial taboos, no matter what we give in return. My apprentice, I presume nothing. Teacher and student are not bound to tread the same path. But hear me out, my apprentice. I need your help to restore the primeval current of Glinstone sorcery. Perhaps this is a journey we could take together. Splendid. I thank you. This pleases me. It's been far too long since I found a fellow kindred spirit. You must have a fabulous teacher. I need your help, my apprentice. Master Lusat is another founding Glinstone sorcerer, and like Master Azure, he was banished from the Academy. Now he languishes in prison somewhere. My apprentice, can you find Master Lusat? With this Glinstone key, you should be able to cross the boundary that encloses him. I need him to restore the primeval current of Glinstone sorcery. He's nigh a child of the stars. Such is his body now. 
After his expulsion from the Academy, I heard that Master Lusat returned to his home, a place called Celia, in the eastern Caled Wilds. Thinking about it, I obtained the Glimstone key I gave you from a Celian sorcerer. It wouldn't be too much of a leap to suppose he's still cooped up nearby. My apprentice, give me a moment later. I have a favor to ask. The form you see before you is merely a projection. My body lies elsewhere, but the Academy's shackles prevent it being moved. My body is on the Weeping Peninsula at the southern tip of the lands between, imprisoned in the ruins just down from the Church of Marika past the plain of the wandering mausoleum. Can you make the journey to my body? I have something that I can only trust with you. Who could have guessed? What a place to find Master Lusat. You have my gratitude. This is all your work. I am truly pleased to have you as an apprentice and a kindred spirit. This is a mere token of my thanks. Please take it. This brings us a full step closer. The bodies of Masters, Azure and Lusat can be admitted to the Academy. If only I could undo these wretched shackles. Are you good and prepared, young chum? The festival begins. Thank you for coming. These shackles take a toll on us all. There is something I need you to look after. My primal glinstone. A star has fallen and my fortunes waver. Someone may come for my life. And so, I entrust it with you, myself. This is my essence. Please, treat it 
with care. Ah, well met. I hardly expected to see the champion of the festival here, of all places. You didn't know Selen, did you? Well, whatever the case, she's dead now. Just put it behind you. She was known as the Graven Witch. Obsessed by the primeval current, countless sorcerers fell to her hand. The most dangerous mage in the entire history of Rhea Lucaria's academy. It is strange, though. The woman, she was like a husk. Her soul already fled. I suspect Selen lives on elsewhere. I'm sure she'll turn up eventually. In another body, a sickening thought. But one that won't stop gnawing at me. My apprentice. Just how long has it been? Thank you. You've helped me fill a new body once again, and it's truly a gem. Young and full of vigor, a snug fit for my primal glinstone. Better still, I've shed those awful shackles. Finally, I can return to the Academy to expel the Karian royal family and restore the primeval current, my dear apprentice. I owe this all to you. Jeren, bringer of my death. You have no gratitude for freeing me from my death. Join the crew to reflect on your mistake. You've saved my skin once again. Do you see this? The Queen of Caria is no more. With the bodies of Masters Azure and Lusat returned, the Academy can hone the primeval current, so that we, fallen children of the stars, shall beam with brilliance once again. My apprentice, will you stay with us here at the Academy? Oh, I know it's not possible. You have your own calling to be the next Elden Lord. But do think of me, of your teacher. On the eve of your crowning, you will always be my darling pupil. Rest assured that I, no, the entire Academy will swear allegiance to the new monarch, my apprentice. Become Elden Lord. Hmm. Perhaps I'm jumping ahead at here is a symbol of my allegiance, and the Academies. 
Do you recall what once I told you? That glimstone is the amber of the cosmos, and sorcery is the study of the stars and the life therein. When you become Elden Lord, please illuminate me. Lay bare the secrets of life which course the Elden Ring. Next time, I will be your student. Oh, one last thing. If you fail to claim your throne, you can always pay me a visit. Oh, don't fret. Even my dullest pupils will always have a place here. I... Uh, uh. <laughs> 